Hello, and welcome back to Ask Ema. So today, as I promised, which is season one, episode two, uh, navigating the rental application process in New York City. Uh, New York City, Manhattan, you know, Brooklyn have similar processes, some parts of Queens as well. Um, the difficulty in the obstacle courses that a lot of renters face today is the uh, qualifying the rental income, uh, liquidity, uh, the rents are very high these days in all of the five boroughs, and therefore it is unfortunately a very challenging obstacle course like uh, process. You have to just know and stay focused that that's the apartment that you want and that you are willing to do whatever it's going to take to get that apartment. And so your real estate professional who will be guiding you um, will be able to outline all of that. And if you're not working with a uh, real estate uh, representative for the, the renter side, and you're just going into what I call the landlord's den, then um, you really definitely want to take some notes. So break out a pencil and a piece of paper. First, um, industry uh, standard, so to speak, not so written in law. Uh, most uh, landlords today are looking for 40 times the rental income. Uh, 40 times the rents is what we would say. So you would basically need to, your income would need to be at least 40 times what the rent is. So if the rent is $1,000 a month, you need to earn $40,000 a year. Um, on top of that, hold a very strong uh, credit score. M most landlords, 700 or higher. Uh, there are some that are still in the 650 range, no problem. And if there's something that's on your reports, please disclose it from the beginning because it's going to come up. They're going to do a full background check in some buildings. So you don't want to have any kind of surprises come up. That's my word of advice. Disclose it immediately. If you had a bankruptcy, if you had a landlord tenant issue in the past, anything that you think could hamper you from getting this apartment, transparency is key here. This is a highly competitive uh, field. Um, behind you stands hundreds of applicants that are equally qualified, if not stronger. Um, candidates, you know, there's a lot of people, a lot of money in New York City. So please, if you uh, really want something, be transparent with the landlord's agent, your agent, uh, whichever way you decide to go about this. Um, and just know that first is your income. You need to prove that you are working and have income via a W-2 or a 1099 or a letter from an accountant. Um, you will need to provide your last two years tax return. So they are clearly looking for some kind of history. Um, if you have any driving records come up, when they do a full national background check, your parking tickets and your traffic light summonses are going to come up. So be prepared to answer those questions when they do arise, should they arise. Now, um, on top of that, you would need to have a recent... Um, a recent bank statement showing some type of liquidity um, so that the landlord knows you're not going to default. So uh, so you're going to have to provide that recent bank statement. Uh, if you have any kind of 401k plan, great, show it. Um, black out, de redact all of the information that's personal and private, like your account number, not your name, of course. They need to verify that it's actually your bank account. Um, should you be a student relocating or someone from out of the country or out of state, if you have a, a local guarantor or family members willing to c step up to the plate and go to bat for you, we have forms that are called guarantors. They will uh, guarantee that if you default, they're going to pay the landlord. These are all layers of protection for those that may not be qualified. For those that are qualified and earn 40 times the rent, 60 times the rent, you really have not much to worry about. So long as your credit score is not 400 and you owe everyone, you know, mounds of money. Um, short of that, the idea here is to keep the landlords out of landlord and tenant court. That is why the screening uh, uh, process is very severe in most buildings and most homes today. Landlord and tenant court is a nightmare. Nobody wants to go there and nobody needs an eviction on their record because at the end of the day, you get an eviction on your record and you just won't be able to live in New York City anymore because landlords are just not tolerating that. Um, so keep in mind, W-2s, tax returns, income verification, current landlord reference letter. If you have a landlord, if you need a guarantor, ask your mother, uncle, aunt, uh, whomever might live in the state to help you out. 
um, should you come short of that. In the event they're willing to help you out but not sign a guarantor form, there is a company called um, Insurant. And if your agent doesn't know about it, educate them, educate yourself, insurerent.com. It's pretty simple. They've been around since the 90s. They will uh, insure the lease. Yes, you have to pay a fee, but at the end of the day, if it's what you want, then go for it. That's all I could tell you. Please work with um, uh, very trusted and transparent and local agents. Uh, we have a license. We have a lot of information. We know how to navigate the system. We know how to prepare you, but listen to them. If they tell you this is a competitively priced apartment, if they say straight out, please offer more than the asking rents, you're not going to get this apartment unless you come in super strong. Listen to them. We know what we're talking about. We want to get you into your new home. We want you to become a neighbor. We want you here and we would love to help you get what you want. So please, if you're going to use a trusted professional, then trust them and trust their guidance. And make sure you're working in an aligned uh, place, you know, make sure that you're comfortable with their agency representation. And, you know, like I said in um, episode one, that's good. That's a whole other story. We are going to uncover everything slowly here. Uh, in, every other day, I'm going to try to post a video. So in the four weeks, we will cover rentals inside out. Agency disclosure. It's not a contract. It, it just discloses the relationship between the agent that you're working with and yourself or the agent and the landlord and or um, the agent and the landlord and you. If you decide to go into a dual agency, I don't recommend it. I say stay away from that at all costs. Um, either go with your own agent or go with the landlord's agent and just make sure they're treating you fairly and honestly. And if you have any questions, please Send me a message, askema.com. My information is Tyler Vincent Real Estate. I am a broker in Carroll Gardens, so Tyler Vincent Real Estate. Reach out to me, send me an email, ping me, text me, however you need to reach me. I do consultations. I will also create packages for you. You can work with whoever you want, but I will set you right on track um, if they're not willing to or not seasoned enough. So that's the lesson for today navigating the application process be transparent be clear collect all your paperwork in advance again um you will need your 1099s or w-2s uh letter of reference from your current landlord a uh, current bank statement uh tax returns your income proof of income that you earn 40 times or more of the uh monthly rent and as your yearly income of course and uh and the rest is really easy make sure you have a good credit uh, report make sure there's nothing crazy on there make sure that you know if you have a criminal past just disclose it um it's gonna come up they're gonna some buildings will not take renters without a background check this is not the time to try to hide that because if it comes up later it just the landlord's just not gonna trust you so they're just not gonna pick you so you just did all that for nothing and you just spent money on that for nothing so nobody wants to spend money for nothing set yourself up to win and go get what you want Giving it to you straight, Ema Giacoli, askema.com, the broker and owner of Tyler Vincent Real Estate located in Carroll Gardens. Thank you for checking in and see you for episode three.